That was Melanie Martinez with Void coming to you live from the South Central Truck Sales Studios. You're still listening to Amory in the AM. We have crossed over into the next hour. It is 12.15 and I've got a special guest in the studio, Mr. Steve White, here to keep us up on all of our ladies and boys Trojans on that coffee athletics. Let us know what's going on, Mr. Steve. Amory, good to be here. Uh, Good to be talking to Trojan Nation again this Monday. Uh, let's talk season tickets first for our 2023 football season. Tickets are now on sale to the general public. Anybody that has any interest in buying season tickets, come out to the athletic office, pick you some out. There are plenty of really good seats remaining. Uh, $72 each for six home games. Remember, our opener is August 18th versus Tiff County. That's our season and home opener. We will be going to... Fitzgerald on August 4th for our preseason scrimmage, but our our regular season opener is home versus Tift on August 18th. So let's get out to the athletic department, pick you out some seats. Just remember, you don't have to be there early. You can come. There's a seat waiting on you when you get there. It's got a chair back on it. There's a lot of advantages to having season tickets. Come on out and pick you some out and and get ready to, to support the 2023 football Trojans band members, and cheerleaders. Football. Summer ended last week with the FCA camp. They went to Thomasville for an OTA with Thomas County Central and some others. They were there for two days. They finished up the two-day camp with a trip to Wild Adventures for a little uh, recreation, saw pictures. They looked like the kids had a great time. I know the football went well. We were very competitive. Really like our football team leading into to the fall. Looking forward to August 4th and August 18th. Again, the scrimmage at Fitzgerald August 4th at 8 p.m. Home opener, season opener, August 18th, Tiff County at 7.30. Softball. Today and tomorrow, they're doing a lasagna fundraiser. It's not too late to order you a lasagna. Uh, They'll pick up tomorrow, I think, between 3 and 6. But if you would like to order a lasagna and support the softball program, you can contact Lori Hennessy via Facebook or call Coach Kylie Bass at 478-319-7306. Softball's right around the corner. Their preseason scrimmage is at Thomas County Central on August 3rd at 5 o'clock. Home opener is August 7th versus Bacon County. So softball right around the corner. Again, lasagna fundraiser today and tomorrow. Not too late to get your order in. Baseball, they've got their final summer camp for kids, July 25th, 26th, 27th from 9 to 12, grades 1st through 7th. If you're interested in getting your kid registered, go to www.coffeebaseball.com. Cheerleading, they're at camp right now, returning today. That's all ninth grade JV and varsity uh, preparing for the year. They're hard at work also. Band camp started today. They've got two weeks' worth. So they're getting ready for the home. I mean, it's right around the corner, folks. This fall's almost here. Football season's almost here. Everybody's getting ready. And I am most excited, and I hope you are too. All right, last thing, uh, when we we, we talked two weeks ago, our weightlifting team had just returned from nationals in Colorado where we won the 13 and under men's youth nationals, 16 and 17-year-old year old, uh, men's youth nationals, and we were the overall men youth national champions. So three national championships under our belt for coaches Mike and Angela Booth, Katie Lott, and Ashley Hewlett. Real proud of those coaches. And got some more details now on the kids that win and where they placed. Uh, individual results, Scott Smith finished fifth, Noah Booth eighth, Cole McDuffie twelfth, Trip Lewis Third place, he had three bronze medals in the snatch, clean and jerk, and, and total lift. Uh, Brody Lott, 17th place. Keegan Bush, 12th place. Reese Robinson, 4th place. Braden Vester, 9th place. Range Robinson was national runner-up three times in the snatch, clean and jerk, and total lifted. Mikhail Smith had a 4th place finish. Zine Preston, a fifth-place finish. Tico Smith, 12th. Chloe Merritt, 21st. And Layden Parker, 17th. But you put all that together because of our depth and the the number of people we were able to place and finish uh, 
We were overall team champions again for the men in 13 and under, 16, 17, and overall. So what a great weightlifting year. They'll be getting started shortly uh, for next year. Again, if you're boy, that's boys and girls weightlifting. And you, uh, camps have already taken place, but if you're interested in getting your kids started in an after-school weightlifting, they'll crank that up later in the fall. So just get in touch with Coach Mike Booth at Coffee High School if you're interested there. Okay, again, let me give you the athletic office number. If you've got any questions about anything I've covered today, 389-6625 is the athletic office. Uh, we can answer any questions you may have, and if you missed any of this information, we can give it to you again. Again, school's around the corner, athletic year's around the corner. Let's get ready to, to support our ladies and men. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Steve, so much for coming in today and keeping us up to date on all of our coffee athletics. Remember, people, come out and support all of the boys and girls. Trojans, they need it. They've got so much going on. Even though it's almost the end of summer, you still want to stay active. School's fix and start. Like you said, I think there's like two weeks left of summer. But then we're rolling right into fall, and there's a ton of stuff happening. So like he said, you can contact them at the for the Coffee Athletics Program for more information. Thank you, Mr. Steve, and we'll see you next time. You guys keep it here for the hot hits and throwbacks. This is 93.5 Vibe FM.